You can get to automation two different ways, either through project settings over here on the left side or by using the automation icon at the top of the board. So to use the shortcut, we'll click on the lightning bolt and select manage automation rules. If we're accessing via project settings, you'll click project settings and then automation. Then we have automation over here. Want to add a note here. So you are able to see the project settings link because you created this project and are therefore a JIRA project administrator. By default, most of the project automation rules that you're going to be creating today can be created by any JIRA project admin for the project. You could add another project admin to this project via project settings by clicking the people tab on the sidebar, then selecting add people and then adding a user to the JIRA administrator's role if you needed to. But for now, let's click on the automation in project settings on the left side here. This is where we can create automation rules for our project. Great. So now we've got this page pulled up. You should be able to see an add template rules button in the center of the screen. So what we're going to do is click on that to add some simple automation rules to the site. So these rules are not enabled by default, but they provide great examples that you can learn from, use as is, or copy and adapt to whatever you need. If you're interested in any of the rules that pull up here, you can click on them to see what's going on under the hood. But next, what we're going to do is create our own rule. So we'll click on create rule in the upper right. You can view the short first rule tour if you would like, or you can click skip tour. If you've completed the tour, click get started. For now, I'll skip this tour. Now's your first chance to explore some of the different triggers that are available to you. Remember that triggers are what kick off a rule and they can be based on an event that occurs, most of the triggers. They could also be scheduled to run if you look at that scheduled trigger, or you can even manually trigger them from an issues detail if you check out the manual trigger. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create a trigger that executes when an issue is created. So we see our issue create a trigger right at the top, one of our recommended popular ones. So we'll select that and we'll leave it as is and hit save. Now that we've created a trigger, let's add a condition. So what we're gonna do is create a condition that only selects created issues if they are of the issue type task. So we'll see this add component screen here. What we're gonna do is click on new condition and then we'll select the issue fields condition. Like I mentioned before, that one's a really great one. Okay, so now let's set the field that we are gonna be checking against. So we're gonna change this to be issue type. We'll keep it as equals and we will change the value to be the task issue type. That looks good, so then we'll save. So now that we have our trigger and our condition, we are going to add an action. So what we're gonna add now is the action that automatically creates four subtasks when an issue is created. So on our add component screen here, we are going to add a new action. The action that we're gonna be adding is create subtasks. So we'll have to scroll down a little farther for this one. And there it is, create subtasks. So now for the summary, we're gonna add in write blog post. Once I have that, I can add another subtask and we'll create the rest of the subtasks with these summaries that you see in the lab workbook. Cool, so now before we save the rule, let's verify that under automation on the left side over here that the rule looks like what we want. So we want it to run when an issue is created. That looks good. If issue type equals task, then create four subtasks. Yep, that looks right. So let's give it a name and turn it on. So we'll call this one create blog post subtasks. And then we'll turn it on. So you'll see that it's been enabled by this toggle here and in the top right. The next step we're going to do is we're going to go look at the rule details. So we'll come up here in the top left under automation and look at an overview of the rule that we created. So you can walk through these. We'll dig into these a little bit further in some additional labs and slides, but this page is a good overview of what the rule is doing. Once you've checked that out, we're going to go back to project using the sidebar. So again, if this has collapsed, you can expand your sidebar. We'll hit this back to project over here and we will make sure that we're viewing the Kanban board and then we'll go create an issue that triggers the rule. So to do that, I'm going to hit this create button at the top of the screen. I will keep the project as it is, but I will select task. So you want to trigger the rule, right? So for the summary, we'll give it a create blog post one. 
and we'll leave the rest of it alone and hit create. So then look at your Kanban board. You might need to refresh the screen, but once you do so, what you should see is that the automation rule created the four subtasks underneath your new task. If you click on a newly created subtask to review the details, what you'll see is it'll pull up a screen and you'll notice that the reporter is automation for Jira. So that's the user behind the scenes that executes those automation rules. Later, we're gonna be modifying the rules so that the reporter is the same as the parent task, but for now, this is what you should be seeing here. Let's close that and jump back to the Kanban board. So let's move all of our subtasks and tasks to the done column. We've done all of this work. It's been a very productive day. We will just drag these over here. Once you've dragged the subtasks over, you'll see this if you do it in that order. Um, all subtasks for the parent issue are now done. Do you want to update this parent issue to match? Yeah, let's do it. We were going to do it manually anyway. Might as well let Jira do it for us.